Here we go. I'm just going to the BIOS here and tools, easy flash, loading up the BIOS. Go down to no name. Here it is. Now we're going to start checking the file. You want to update? Yeah, I do. And you can always go back to that. But we're going to crash them. I'll show you how. This is done writing. I'm almost to the end of the writing. I'm going to crash it. And then I'm going to show you how to recover them. People say they can't recover their BIOS. See that all the time. In the forums, people can't recover their BIOS because they crashed them. I'm going to show you how. And I'm going to do this on purpose. Just like I did with the first motherboard. I crashed it, brought it right back to life. People say it don't work. I'm, I'm showing you it works. Yeah, let's shut it off. <clears throat> well, let's see if we get a, a black screen or no post. If we get a black screen or no post, I'll show you how to fix that. So it does post. Looks like we got a dead screen, folks. No post, no beep. Here it is. The formatted flash drive is already in there with the BIOS. It's already named with the BIOS name. So it's checking for the CD. Now it's checking for the USB. There it is. Completed. Start programming. Also, if this doesn't work, you can also use on this motherboard, you can hook up the VGA and that should work. Or you can also try a PCI video card and hook that up to VGA. See if it kicks back in. Now the memory's coming back to life. Post. And there it is. F2. Starting Windows. There it is. If you got any problems, let me know. Glad to help out.